Here we go again. Another headline from Nadine Doris. And it's all words. And there's very rarely any actions, isn't there? So I guess we've got to go through this article and, you know, pick on her a little bit for not actually doing anything. Or maybe this article says she is going to do something. Let's find out. The beginning of the end. Nadine Dorries ready to implement scrapping of BBC licence fee. Yeah, you've been saying that for a while though. Now, Nadine? Then she have been saying that for a while, girl. And uh, yeah, not seeing anything yet. Let's read on. Ms Dorries, who has been a long-term critic of the current funding arrangement, has now suggested government is ready to open a consultation into the future of the BBC in the coming weeks. Well, there's a lot of non-committal language going on in there, isn't there? She suggested the government is ready to open a consultation in the coming weeks. One paragraph and there's four weak words in it. She suggested, that's not a guarantee, ready to open a consultation. A consultation doesn't mean anything's going to get done. It means someone will sit down and have a chat with it over a wine in the coming weeks. Not telling us when. And you wonder why... We've turned on you a little bit, Nadine, you know. When you've got the gig, you come out swinging, and we was all quite positive. She's going to be the one to do it. And you give us... Give us all that. Never mind. We are going to very soon announce that we are going to be looking very seriously at how we fund the BBC, she told The Spectator magazine. We are ready to implement a new way of funding the BBC. So very soon, not committing to a date, announce that we're going to be looking. Looking. Thinking about it, talking about it, not actually doing. It's it's wimpy language, isn't it? It's it's non-committal. Her comments will delight campaigners who have accused the license fee of being an out-of-date way of funding a national broadcaster. Now, I'm not one to have that bigger head, really, but I would call myself a campaigner against the TV license fee. I don't know if you've noticed from my videos, but I'm not quite the fan of the BBC or the TV license fee. So her comments will delight campaigners who have accused the license. So we've established I might be qualified to be a campaigner. Do I sound delighted by her comments? No. 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 There's nothing concrete there. Is there? There's nothing concrete. It's just wimpy language. Just wimpy language. And that's all we've had from her recently. She came out swinging, as I said. But just recently, you know, all the last few articles she's had out and the last few press releases, it's been so non-committal. And she keeps saying, implement a new way of funding the BBC lately as well, rather than saying the word scrapping the licence fee. What's she trying to tell us? Is she trying to tell us that it's going to be turned into a media tax, that it's gone over her head now, and there's going to be a media tax that goes on your council tax, or just goes on your pay slip, you know, per person. And it's not per household like the TV licence thing. Is that what's going to happen? It's worrying, isn't it? It's worrying, because we're not seeing any good language, any good language at all out of Nadine lately. So, yeah, I've fallen out of love, fallen out of love a little bit with Nadine Dorries, I have to admit. Oh, and there's a cracking bit towards the end of this article that I didn't see a minute ago. In her latest comments, Ms Dorries added she was also looking at how the media regulator Ofcom could hold the BBC to account. She said, we're going to be looking at how Ofcom can hold the BBC to account, and then very shortly after, we will be announcing other measures that we are going to put into place to start looking at how the BBC will be funded in the future, blah, blah, blah. Didn't the new head of Ofcom just get appointed? And it was an ex-BBC person. And aren't there loads of ex-BBC executives that work at Ofcom and chair Ofcom and head up Ofcom? They're probably still getting BBC pensions or probably in line for BBC pensions when they retire completely. And they're going to hold the BBC to account. Well, congratulations to making it to the end of another of my videos. Although not too big a challenge this time because it's not the longest one I've ever made. Is it? But now you've made it this far, maybe you'd like to tell me what you think about this and what you think about Nadine. Keep it family friendly. We're a nice place here. We don't do things like that, right? Down in the comments below, let me know what you think about this whole thing and whether you think Nadine could be the one to get rid of the license fee. Eh, I come and go on that. I come and go on that. Well, let me know what you think about it. And while you're down there as well, if you've made it this far, perhaps you would consider hitting the subscribe button if you haven't already. Keep you up to date with the latest videos. Doesn't cost you anything. And it helps the channel grow, and I'd really appreciate it. Really appreciate it a lot if you do that. So you think about doing that, 
and I will see you in another video again soon. Thanks for watching.